This is iPod Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to show you how to back up your Cydia packages so you can resync them after you uh, restore an iPod or update it, therefore losing the jailbreak. Um, this is very nice, so then you don't have to jail re jailbreak and try to get all your packages back again. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to search, and you're going to search for X backup. Then, once you're there, um, you're going to need to add this source either in repo.insanely.com or ihexrepo.com and get the package from one of them so I'll demonstrate the insanely I one and it just uh, tells you what the package does so you can just install it and confirm then it's going to install it now you can go over to turn to Cydia and then go back to your home page. And now here you're going to see an app called X Backup. So you're going to want to open it. So what you're going to do is click on Backup. And then it's uh, click Backup again. So what it does is it backs it up. Okay. And it saves it into this folder right here. And what happens then when it saves it into that is you have to SSH. You can watch my tutorial if you don't know how to use SSH. Um, you're going to go to that folder using your SSH and well, from there what you're going to do is then transfer it to your computer and then once you read jailbreak get X back up again and then go to this same folder and put that file that you just removed put it back into this folder on your iPod using OpenSSH then go to restore and click restore now what that does is it puts all your Cydia packages back that you have right now and if you click on settings you can see it has a couple other options like auto reboot, auto respring, um, it has cloud, it has a bunch of nice uh, settings here and um, this this is the quote unquote pirated version but it still has full functionality um, so that's pretty much all there is to it, hope you enjoyed, don't forget to rate, subscribe and comment